stained glass windows. For the first quarter century, our sanctuary was simple and basic, as seen in these 1940s pictures. Over the years, we've had some very generous gifts to enhance our worship experiences. Too often we walk by and do not notice them. The stained glass windows, for example. They were installed in 1954 for the 25th anniversary of our sanctuary. They were made from antique glass from several countries. Reverend Sinclair helped in the design. The windows inspire us and involve some aspect of our Christian faith. We might see the six most visible in the sanctuary, but do we recognize their meaning? The windows on the south side, from front to rear. Redemption, in memory of Ernest Kohler. Communion, in memory of Jenny Nobles. Baptism, also in memory of Jenny Nobles. Holy Scriptures. Where is this window? It is the fourth from the front on the south side. The picture was taken from the balcony. The north side from front to back. Fellowship in memory of Lyle Horton. Prayer in memory of Luella Cook. Worship in memory of Lucille Cook. Christian service, the fourth window from the front on the north side as seen from the balcony. At the bottom are the windows on the doors at the rear of the sanctuary. Above them is the transom window, all in memory of Elf Summers. On each of the upper corners are windows on the stairs to the balcony which suggest praise in the house of the Lord with a harp and trumpets. The windows way above the main entry door as seen from the balcony. Christ is the pivot point. The same windows showing more detail. Additional windows have been added over the years. The windows in the stairway of the education wing. The sower, in memory of Orto's staples. Jesus and the children, in memory of Agnes Marvin. Teaching, in memory of Hulda Thompson. Music, in memory of Gertrude Murdoch. And finally, the windows on the west side of the second level of the education wing. St. Matthew, in memory of Clyde and Ida Hollowell. Saints Luke and John, in memory of F.G. Pete and Agnes Pearson. And St. Luke, in memory of William Thayer. In the foyer, we have the Lord's Prayer and at the rear of the sanctuary we have a painting and another painting the lighted last supper at the altar was a 1965 gift in memory of Joe Friedbacher Paul Bast senior constructed and installed an illuminated cross in 1938 More recently, the video screens were in memory of Hannah and Gerda Wolthe, while the cross was in memory of Ted Hurdle Sr. I've only covered a few of the many gifts. We should all give thanks to those who made these windows and many, many other items available, which enhance our experiences. Next time, we will cover the expansion of West Allis and building an education wing.